Hello everyone, this is Anthony Duck 2 and welcome to another Fabric Mod Overview, this time on Durability Viewer. A mod allows you to see the durability numbers in a specific colour depending on the state of the item. A specific display of numbers dependent on the damage shown or durability done to the item. The amount of empty inventory slots, the amount of time a potion effect, for example, will still be applied, a warning sound will be applied, and that when the item is about to break, and showing off the window title having, for example, the following listed here with the player's name and the sort of state of the game they're in, whether it's local or on a server, such and such. So yeah, let's get into it. We'll be using gold shovels here for demonstrating. Okay, sound. Obviously, durability here, empty slots in your inventory, damage to armor and otherwise. If I just get a another one to demonstrate. So, minus one, and as we go along, minus six, goes to 25 then, after a certain amount is broken, or a fair amount of durability has been applied to the item. And we've got yellow, at six, red at three, and then break and I'm assuming that might be the sound effect um, unless it's just my audio which would be surprising. Um, otherwise there is obviously some configs you can tweak like where the HUD corner is of your screen, effect duration which I'll cover soon, percentage to show damage, the color of the tooltip, the window title, the minimum percentage when the sound effect will play, and the minimum durability of when the sound effect will play. I'll just apply the effect real quick. Um, let's see here. What is a quick effect? Negative or positive? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Jump boost 2, I guess. And you see a little icon on the top. Obviously, with a countdown. And if I obviously just wait it out, besides going into your inventory all the time, you'll see it up here with the timer, besides just the icon, like so, in the base game, anyways. And then linking out once it gets to its endpoint. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. If there's anything I missed, let me know, but I'm pretty sure that's about it. And obviously all this stuff I was using was mostly default values, not tweaked in any way.